first day of a two-day Fed meeting, and it all seems to be about cementing the notion that they're going to go slower, rate hikes will be shallower, and lots of talk about T3, tapering the taper. Your <laughs> thoughts? Great. Well, I, I think Chairman Powell has had a, a better January. I think it's good to let the uh, markets catch their breath and the economy kind of rehook up here. Um, and so he has said he's going to be patient on, on, on rates and that he gave the example of 2016 where they took a little break and the economy regained traction. And I think that's probably the most important thing that he said. On the balance sheet, um, yeah, I think markets want some clarity on, on where they're going. Um, and there is a debate about whether or not they need to ease up on the, on the monthly pace at all. Um, I think they have, to, they have to pick between one of the two. And it's probably okay to just tell, to give a little more clarity about where they're going, and they'll probably be okay. Well, as of most recent Thursday late afternoon data from the Federal Reserve, the balance sheet's just a whisker over four trillion. The securities holdings are about 3.85 trillion. The notion that somewhere around three and a half, 3.6 could be enough is what I hear the whispers in the marketplace. Have you heard the same thing and your thoughts about actually tapering the taper at that level, which is a bit higher than some of the thoughts earlier yeah. in the process? You know, I've done the math myself and, and you get down to somewhere at uh, three and a quarter at the lowest, but probably around three and a half trillion on the balance sheet. And so I think that that's a, a pretty good guess um, of where it is. I think that part of the issue on the balance sheet is they need to be a little better in their communication on it. Um, you saw Esther George say, um, how can we say that there's no effect on QT, but then we should believe that if we have a recession, we go into QE, that it's going to be very powerful. And they just need to develop a consistent message that is in the, in the same direction. And I think that that would go a long way to helping. Now, just trying to think about how all of this affects the marketplace, if we track up and down balance sheet and that correlates with stocks, if the balance sheet starts to flatten out, would you expect the economy to flatten out and then potentially build from there? Your final thought. Yeah, I think we have tax refunds coming. That's probably the best thing for the economy. Um, but if, if the balance sheet levels off, I'd expect equity volatility to go down. I think that the Fed's balance sheet, when it shrinks, it actually translates out farther in the risk markets to uh, equity vol. And so stopping that would probably be a little bit of a calming influence.